This is a tutorial on solving two-step equations. In standard 5.0, it says that students will solve multi-step problems, including word problems involving linear equations and linear inequalities in one variable and provide justification for each step. Today we're going to be solving two-step problems involving linear equations in one variable and we will be providing justification for each step. The first problem that we're going to do is 2x plus 9 equals 23. The first thing that we'll do is we'll identify the variable by boxing it. So if we choose here, we can see that the variable is x. Next, we're going to circle the coefficient. The coefficient is always going to be the number that's multiplied by the variable. Finally, we're going to underline the constant. This should give us a good understanding of what our problem will look like. The next step is to remove the constant using inverse operation of addition. You see here that the inverse of addition is subtraction. Subtract 9 from both sides and you should get 2x equals 14. Our next step, as you can see, is to rewrite the problem. This just makes things look cleaner as you move through the process. The fourth step is to remove the coefficient using inverse operation of multiplication. From here, you should divide by 2 and get x equals 7. We're not quite done yet. First, we're going to rewrite the problem. Then, we're going to substitute your answer to check your work and box your answer. If the left answer e equals the right answer, I know that my answers check out and my solution should be x equals 7. The next problem is a little bit different. It's 12x or 12 minus 7x equals negative 23. Same thing as the last problem. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to identify the variable by boxing it. Notice here the variable is in a different place. We're still going to box the variable. Second part, we're going to circle the coefficient. Notice that I'm circling the negative sign with the 7. Finally, we're going to underline the constant. Our second step is to remove the constant using the inverse operation of addition. So we subtract 12 on both sides. We should end up with negative 7x equals negative 35. After we rewrite the problem, our next step will be to remove the coefficient using the inverse operation of multiplication. So dividing negative 7 on both sides should get me x equals 5. I rewrite the problem and substitute in my answer to check and make sure. I see here that the answer is the same on the left as it is on the right, so x should equal 5. I'll box my answer. <laughs> 